Hey crew, here's an example where adding two different fractions with two different denominators might actually happen in real life. We've got a scenario. Owen has a half pound of beef jerky and Jacob has a quarter pound of beef jerky. If they combine what they have together, how much is there in all? When I'm reading this, it sounds like addition. It sounds like Owen has a certain amount and Jacob has a certain amount. And if they combine them or put them together, the question is, how much do they have total? When we use fraction bars to solve a problem like this, let's always put a one bar up so we can kind of keep the answer in relation to one. Owen had one half pound. I'm gonna tap on the half pound bar and I'm gonna go ahead and compress it down to one half. I know that Jacob had three fourths pounds. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on my fourth bar and I'm gonna bring it up to the one half bar and I'm going to compress this down so that it's three fourths. So I see three fourths plus one half. I want to double check and make sure those are the right numbers. One half, oops, it was one half plus one fourth. Definitely want to make sure I'm writing down the right problem. So one half plus one fourth, there we go. Is a half and a fourth, are they the same size piece? Clearly you can see, nope, the half is larger than the fourth. The fourth is smaller than the half. Uh, one half is one out of two pieces to make a whole and one fourth would be one out of four smaller pieces to make a whole we need to rename our larger piece in terms of fourths. We need to write or express halves in terms of fourths. I'll grab my quarter bar, my fourth bar, my quarter bar, and I'm gonna see how many fourths are equal to one half. When I compress it down, it looks like two of these fourths is equal to exactly one of these halves. That means that two fourths is the same value. It's not the same thing, it's two pieces that are smaller, and that one half is just one piece that's twice as big, but two fourths is the equal value. It's the same size altogether. If one half is equivalent to two fourths, then I could say one half, which is equivalent to two fourths, is really like saying two fourths plus one fourth. And that means we've got an answer of three fourths. So when we look at this scenario, the problem, if Owen has a half pound of jerky, which is equivalent to two fourths, and Jacob had a quarter pound of jerky, one fourth and two more fourths would be a total of three fourths. And I could say that Owen's half pound and Jacob's quarter pound combined gives us three quarter pounds of jerky. There we go, adding fractions with unlike denominators using fraction tiles.